Hello Track and Field World, Rick Watkins with Flash Timing. This video we're going to demonstrate how to evaluate a race and pull the results into our meet management program. If you have not uh, gotten your Flash Timing program configured to work with the meet management program, you need to go back and review the video on configuring the program to work with the meet manager. Uh, we're going to open this up in review mode. We're going to make sure we've got it configured correctly. Config the configure box. We've got everything set up as we had it before. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to select the from the list of races that we have recorded. We're going to select the boys 4x100 meter relay. We're going to go down here and open the video. You can also just double click that and it will open it. And then we're going to open the record times tab up here at the top. We're going to select, since we are using a meet management program, we're going to collect load athletes. Click continue. This is going to pull the start list over from our meet management program. You can see all the lane assignments there. And all we have here in the screen on box on the right is the video of the finish of the race. This is what you're going to record for the end of each race. You see the competitors coming across in their respective lanes. So we're going to go back and get the times for each person. So we're going to move this back to the front. We're going to scroll using the wheel on the mouse, go frame by frame until the lead runner gets to the finish line. Now, the finish line that you see here in the middle of the race, uh, we need to put a finish line that we're going to evaluate on. So you click the little box down here in the bottom right, and we're going to just move using these little toggle arrows. We're going to move to toggle it over and line that up with the finish line. And that's what we'll use to evaluate picture. Make sure that's completely lined up with the leading edge of the finish line. You'll see the finish line is two inches wide. You need to make sure when you set this up that you evaluate on the leading edge of the finish line so you don't rob any athletes of any precious tenths or hundredths of a second. And all we're going to do is move this forward until the torso of the runner crosses this finish line. So as you can see, this runner's in lane four. We're going to go over here and click lane four, and there's his time. And we're going to do that for each race. There's a box down here you can click to zoom in if you need to do that for closer races. A lot of times it's easier just to leave it out unzoomed. We're going to go to lane five here. We're going to get their time. And we're going to do that for every finisher in the race. There's lane one. We'll go here for lane two. And we've got lane six. Now this gentleman's on the line, but that's lane three. We'll go lane seven and lane eight. And there's their time. So now we're going to go click this bu bu box here that says save time. We're going to click that. And you're going to get a box that says time successfully saved. And it's going to ask you a question. Do you want to replace bookmarks with actual race results? The little tick marks down here at the bottom of the screen are, are the bookmarks. As you're recording the races, you can hit the space bar and put these little indicators of where the finishers are. When we save this button, if you say yes, you want it to replace bookmarks with the race results, then it's going to put these tick marks where the actual times are. So you're going to, if you click the, these arrow back and forth arrows, it clicks back to the actual time where they finished in the race. So once we've saved that, we're going to now go to our meet management program, go to the run menu. We're going to find the 3A boys. I don't have the right session open here. Let me open the correct session. We're going to find the 3A boys 4x100 meter relay. And we're going to click this little get times button here on the bottom. And it's going to pull our race times that we just evaluated over. We're going to hit score. Going to pop this off. We're going to print it, and we're going to go on to the next race. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me at rick at flashtiming.com. Happy timing.